In this video, I'm going to take a look at how some of the step functions work in Affinity Photo's procedural texture filter. So I've got um, a function here. I've got cubic noise loaded here, and I'm manipulating that. I'm having that as an input to the smooth step SC um, function. And that one has four parameters. There's a zero, there's a input one, there's an output one, and then there's a output zero level. So you can control these different levels. And so it sort of looks at the values on the, um, in the noise function, and if it's below a certain level of grayscale, each of these sliders goes from zero to one, it'll assign that to black. So I can increase the amount of black by adjusting this slider. Then if it's above a certain level, it'll make that white. So I can bring that white level down. And then there's an output range where it says if it's above another level, it'll make that white. So by adjusting these two sliders, I can have it have more white. And then um, in between those two, it does a smooth transition and then I can make more black on the output. So by adjusting these, I can get a number of different, a variety of different effects, um, includes, including like a thin line. Now this is, uh, if you look at the preset um, uh, marble, that's how they generate this vein, the veins in the marble like this. It's a smooth step SC applied to Perlin noise on top of that. So I created a uh, preset that compares some of these um, different functions. And I just put in a X divided by W. So it'll go from zero up to one as it goes across here uh, from left to right. And then I'm applying different um, of these fun of these step functions to that. And the first one I do is map CUI. So let's look at the different step functions. So the first one, map CUI, takes two edges and then it takes some input. And if that's noise, you'd see a pattern like I showed at the beginning, but I'm just fading it from left to right, from black to white as you move from left to right. The next function I'm going to look at is uh, step. That just takes a single edge. Step N has um, a single edge also, and then the, uh, the pattern. And then uh, smooth step linear has um, four different parameters, and that's what I was playing with. I was playing with smooth step SC. These both have four patterns. This one uses a linear interpret interpolation, and this one has a um, S curve interpolation, or sort of a sine curve interpolation. Okay, so let's look at this one. Um, map CUI. You can uh, keep things black, then have a straight line connecting them until it turns white. So that would be if I um, cross these over, it is just a pure black and pure white, or I could have a gap between them. Um, if I look at what would happen if I had noise in between here, I can do that. This would be noise. I could make it so it's either pure black, pure white, change the amount of that, or have a smooth transition between the white, air, the black area and the white area. Uh, the next one is step. So this is strictly black and white, and it has one input parameter, the edge, and then you can control um, where that cuts off. I'm going to put in, um, for step, I'm just going to put in the noise again and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's what it would look like with the noise function I used before. Okay, the next one is step n. And so this one again just has a single value, but if you look at the difference between that and step, it's just reversed the black and the white. Next one 
is um, the smooth step with linear interpolation between them. And again, that has the four inputs, and so you can change the zero. And you can see that it's a straight line connecting them over here. You could change the amount of distance, it's zero up at top, and then in between, it's one. If you overlap these over here, you get a, um, a line like that, where you get a uh, discontinuity over here like that. But you can adjust these to different values. And later I'm going to show um, how you can use this to create different special effects in creating textures. And then the last one is the um, smooth step with a sine curve, and you can see what the sine curve interpolation looks like, a nice smooth transition between the levels, and you can change these. Um, if you change these, it'll look something like that, or bring them over here, or even overlap them, and you'll get that discontinuity there again. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any comments or questions.